hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks i really appreciate for your coming back and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer using adobe photoshop before any further ado let's get started this is my photoshop and here i'm going to click on new then make use of a5 paper size and i will change the color mode to RGB then you click on great make sure that your resolution is 300 300 and this is the res, uh, resources I'm going to use I'm going to import this background image here Then scale it out a little. Alright. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. So having blend the top here, then go to your filter, go to your blur, select Gaussian blur, and I'm going to make use of this 12.5. Then you click OK. Now I'm going to import this image over here. Reduce the size. Then I'll position it like this. It's okay like this. Now I'm going to import this design here. Then drag it back. Take it up. Then position it around here. Here will be okay. Then go to your background. Then I'll select the design. I will draw a perfect circle by holding my shift key. Then position it this way. Now I'm going to copy this color code from here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Double click here to open the color palette. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So as you can see this color here, I extract this color from the background. So when you see the uh, tie, then you will notice this color. So I extract this color from the air tie over there and the second color here you are seeing I'm going to copy then I also extract this color from the same air tie so this orange color you can see the combination the air tie have two combination of color so that is let me say three combination of color but I extract these two color from the air tie so sometimes some people ask how to get a color that will match your design so these are the way to extract color to get a color that will match your design then you pick the color from the image then that you are designing from so this is how you extract color from the image background so having done this one now then i'm going to duplicate so having duplicated that then now i'm going to turn off the fake color then and uh, apply a stroke color then increase the size by six 
So something like this. I'm sorry for that. That is not the one I'm supposed to, to duplicate. So the one I'm supposed to duplicate is the stroke. So now I'm going to back to my stroke and I will change the color to this orange or yellow color. So you can see the two color over there now. All right there. So the next thing now I'm going to do, then I will go to my rent angle. Then I'll pick a rent angle over here. Then I will draw a rent angle around here. And this fit color I'm going to to great now. Then select the stroke. Then click on this. Then double click to open and over here you can see this is the color code for the gradients i'm going to use and uh, this color you are seeing here i also extract this color from the uh, tie so that is the color i used before and the second one is the the color also from the uh, tie Sorry for the mistake over there. Then over here, I will copy the second color. So what I did is, I supposed to apply the color on fit color. So I mistakenly apply the color on the stroke. So that is why I go back to select the fit color. So these two combination of color now, you are seeing here is from the air type so the other color is the dark green color you are seeing on the air type so why the other one is the pink color from the air type so all the color i'm using here i extract them from the air type okay so now having done this one by giving it a shape then i'm going to select my test tool and i will type it then go to your font to change the font and i'm going to use the font helvetica over here then make it bold Increase the font size, then position it inside the rectangle. Then the dates, then I'm using Akira Expanded for the fonts. Then I'm going to use this color for the test. Ctrl plus V to paste. And I will position it over here. Then scale it out to increase the font size. Then select all, then and increase the size. Now I'm going to import this design over here. drag it up 
and I will position it around here. Then apply your blur. Then leave it this one with that code setting. Then apply your layer mask and blend around it. Then the bottom and the top. Then I'm going to change to soft light, add lights. Then reduce the opacity to 40. I think I need to change the blending mode to multiplying. Something like this is okay. I don't want it to show that way. So this one is okay. At least it's not much now then what i did is to duplicate the test and i'm going to copy the name here highlight the test ctrl plus v to paste now centralize it increase the font size duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate highlight it i know you know the shortcut to highlight ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size align it with the other name to be equal in line Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm using the font Lato over here. Then select regular or semi bold between the 21 you want, you can make use of. Then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. You may be confused when I apply the vertical alignment. So to apply, you have to first select it all by pressing Ctrl plus A while you select the layer of the test or the subject you want to align. So after you select the subject, then pre con you press Ctrl plus A, then you will see a, a line rounding your entire subject before you apply the alignment. And after you apply the alignment, then you press Ctrl plus D, then to deselect all the line. So like now you can see a line that appear now. So before I apply the alignment. Then I'm going to increase the size of the fonts. So we are almost done now. So now I'm going to adjust some certain things before I bring the light flare. So if you like this video, please give it a and uh, subscribe to my channel, turn on the, the notification bell so that you will get notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you need any of my flyer, then you can order any of my flyer or any flyer you want. Then you can make your order through my Fava account. Then you will also see a link of TubeBody. 
to optimize your video channel then you can greet any of the accounts if you want to greet a fiverr account there is a link there and if you want to greet a tubebuddy account there is a link there to optimize your youtube channel or any other channel you want to optimize all right so having done the adjustment now so you there you will know that there is a changes there i will also increase the size of this number here so now select the image and i'm going to bring this the light here then take it to the top here then you can reduce the size any way you want it now i will also reduce the opacity to 66 percent so so that the light will not be that bright so something like this is okay for me so any way you want it then you can apply your own so this is the end of the video thank you so much as we come to the end and please remember to like this video subscribe comment so that i will know the area i need to improve and what and the type of design you want me to give you Thank you so much.